So what advice do you have? I always ask people what advice they have for, for new or aspiring product managers. Um, with, with your background, you know, I have so many friends growing up that were high performing athletes in high school, went on to high performing athletes in college. And, and, you know, I, I look at it as like a non-traditional path into tech, but I hear your experience and I look at my experience as a retail manager, as a retail manager, um, all the skills that transferred over. Um, what advice would you give like a collegiate athlete today um maybe just thinking about tech yeah i'm going i'm you know i'm telling you that's a big part of it because when i look back and all the things that i didn't have that i probably needed to be doing like i have like a whole running list of shit i'm like you know what we have got because sports takes up so much of our time people don't realize that and and, and you don't really realize that as an athlete until you're not doing it anymore like, oh, I don't have practice there. I actually can, I don't know, go to the mall. I have time to actually watch a movie or I'm not napping in between practices or et cetera, et cetera. But I can't stress enough the importance of doing side projects and documenting those. Whatever it is that you're interested in and no matter how terrible it is, do it and document it and let people see your journey and how much you've grown. When I first started, uh, uh, engineering, I've, I've got a couple things on my uh, on my GitHub. They're trash. They're absolutely trash. But you know what? The next thing I posted, which was my website that I made from scratch, not using WordPress, it's made from scratch, is better. Let people see the journey. They respect that. Because the one thing you can't do in tech is come in here and try to fake the funk. People see that. They see right through that. It's like, oh, all your work is great. Like, do you make anything bad? Like, I can, un that part about tech, I can understand. They are real. They were like, they want to see some things because we know how it is in the business. Everything is not going to go the way you plan. What did you do to uh, make those adjustments? So documenting all of your side projects that you do in between your practices, in between uh, your games, do some side projects and document, whether, whether that be via GitHub, LinkedIn, whatever, or your own page, it doesn't matter. Document that. And I'm also going to say, you got to start talking in front of people like this. Only time we really talk in front of people as athletes, you know, is if we're doing an interview or something like that, if, if we're popular enough to do, do interviews because our game film is our interview. No one's going to sit up here and ask us on a question or a Zoom call, hey, tell me about yourself. And us as athletes, we hate bragging because what do we say? It's team first. I didn't do this by myself. That's not me. That was my biggest problem when I was interviewing with product. It's like, you're not taking ownership enough. I'm like, yeah, but I, no one, I didn't do anything by myself. But they need to hear what you did. It's not about the team. What did you influence and how did you influence that? We have to be able to have these conversations more as athletes and get comfortable in a space because we don't have that. Our game film speaks for itself. The coaches say, hey, we like it. She's a good player. They might ask the coaches or a couple of teammates to bet you out and that's it. You're on a team, especially in the pros. They're not going to put you through an interview process. You know what I mean? We've got to get comfortable interviewing. So documenting our projects, getting comfortable interviewing. And the last thing I'm going to say is make the time for it. Make the time for it. Because if you're really all in, like I was, it's very difficult. I had, you know, two or three training sessions a day, one at eight in the morning, the next one was at one and I have a night one, maybe around, you know, six or seven. That's a full day's amount of work. I'm tired, I'm napping, you know what I mean? I'm recovering. If, if you're really big on nutrition, eating all the all the carbs and uh, calories and pro, that's a job itself, all right? It's a full-time job, but make time for it. You have to make time for it. We only get a short amount of time uh, to play sports. And I've had seven knee surgeries. I know it can go just like that. What are we going to do? What are we going to have to fall back on that we can pick back up and start to kind of usher ourselves into our next career? And that's kind of why I started, um, why I went back to school to get my PhD. 